am impressed, flesh creature. You have chosen well. Die bomb is indeed the first choice. You are correct. <coughs> first, we transform Die bomb into Predaking's arm, as well as his wings. Then connect him to Razor Claw. And prepare for the massive weapon. At the end of this video, choose the next Predacon. It's time for Prime. Review and Roar! And here we have G1 reissued dive bomb. I'm not pleased with the... with the, uh, suggested mode of transformation. This, for instance, it, it looks like Harvey Birdman. I would prefer the mouth be closed so we can see his face, or all the way back. Then he looks sort of like one of the Seekers. The, uh, comes with two of these weapons, and one of these swords. Which I kind of like this one because it reminds me of that He-Man thing. Uh, good, good articulation for, uh, for a G1. I mean, he's got waist articulation. Upper thigh, knee, arm. Not bad. And his head will move up and down a little bit. I prefer the wings up like this. That's a little more menacing. Or just all the way out. Look, he's Archangel. Him and Butterfly Meta Megatron ought to get along just fine. But uh, the good thing with these things is you can transform them whatever way you like them to look. That's the way you do it. Still not bad. Uh, as far as the transformation goes, it's fairly straightforward. You remove the weapons, push the hands and arms inside, push these in, all the way, bend the, uh, the wings all the way out. And this is another optional piece. When he's in robot, you can either leave this up or, or down. That makes him look like a girl, so I usually leave that up. You put the legs in, like so, and you put the tail out. And that's pretty much it. There's no claws with which to land. That might make it a little difficult for him. Turkey, turkey, caw, caw.